Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of International Anime Unboxing. Today I'll finally be getting around to ROD the TV. I've been putting this one off for a while, I've already had it. Um, this is going to be more of a um, packaging and content review of the set rather than an unboxing. As you can see, I've already opened it and everything. I've, I've already watched through every episode on here. Um, this is put out by MVM Entertainment. I think they are an England-based company and... Um, because this set is in English, so that's what's making me think so. Um, it is Region 2, so you would need a region-free DVD player, or you'd need your uh, Blu-ray player, I'm sorry, not Blu-ray, your uh, computer DVD player set to, uh, like, Region 2 or England or whatever. Um, the cool thing about this set is that it's not, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's in PAL format or not, but it uses the original aspect ratio of 4 by 3 um, Usually PAL format DVDs, they change that up a bit. And that is what I don't like about the Higurashi sets that I have, is that they use the PAL format. But this one's in the original format, so you don't lose any of the image or get any of the pictures skewed or anything like that. So, um, yep, Japan Origin, English subtitles. This also has the English dub, which I think is quite good. Um, the only complaint about that is that um, Yomiko, who comes in later... Um, I can't really complain about her voice in this dub because it's also quite good. She's voiced by Helena Taylor, the same woman who does Bayonetta. Um, it's just that I think the voice um, for Yomiko in the OVAs was much better than Helena Taylor's for Yomiko, in my opinion. Um, so here's the front. It says R.D. the TV. If you can close, it says We Are the Paper Sisters Detective Company. And these three are the Paper Sisters. Um, this is Anita King. Maggie Mui and Michelle Chan and they are paper they are paper wielders like Yomiko from the OVA um, and this here is Nenene Sumiragawa she appears in the manga but she has a much larger role here and she is an author um, and they're kind of her bodyguards they serve to protect her throughout the series so yeah, rated 15 for violence and stuff like that here's the spine very simple I like the design in this box. It's different from the, um, you know, for in America, the special editions came in like, uh, book type casings, uh, things to make the packaging look like a book. Here we have this nice, simple paper white. Um, the one thing I don't like about this set is that I think Maggie's face is a bit creepy, but that may just be me if it'll zoom in. I think she's kind of creepy in this shot, but I'm trying to film this with one hand, so I apologize. I, th I think she's just a little off-putting, and but other than that, this is a ni pretty nice set, um, design-wise. Let's see, here is a little snippet of a review for the show. And here are the three Paper Sisters again. And that's pretty much it. On the top, it's just another RD to TV. We are the Paper Sisters Detective Company. On the bottom gives you the specs, um, barcodes, things like that. Um... The important thing to know about, I bought this set from uh, Amazon UK, and the important thing to know about this set, well, the show from there, is that there are two different versions. Like, I was extremely lucky to get this version. This is the earlier version. The new versions of the show that they put out are just like an Amore case, and that is like one DVD case that holds all of them on separate pages. So I think this is the much nicer version, and I'm, I'm lucky I was able to get my hands on this. Um... Let's get into the first disc. This is the first disc. Um, this volume is called The Paper Sisters. It's got the three sisters on the front. You see uh, Anita has a thing for um, frog merchandise, little frog plushies and things like that. Um, Design-wise, um, it's pretty much the same artwork as the Region 1 DVDs. I have a few examples of the Region 1 versions, um, but not all of them, because... On its own, the Region 1 version of just this disc is like $45, and that I think that's kind of ridiculous. I do plan on getting it sometime. I, for example, here is the PlayStation Portable UMD disc. You can see it has the same artwork, um, cropped about the same, and everything like that. Um, do go into the back here. RD the TV, we, this one has episodes 1 through 4. It's got 5.1 Dolby Digital English and Japanese and the original 2.0 Japanese soundtrack. I'm really shaking. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can hold it differently. I'm not going to read anything 
um, because I don't like the sound of my voice. But you can see, um, as you can see, one of the things I don't like about this set is that the previews that come after every episode, in my opinion, that is part of the episode and shouldn't be pushed onto the special features um, section of this set like they have. Um, and also one of these DVDs in the set doesn't have the special features on it. Well, it doesn't have the previews on it. So you miss about four episodes worth of the previews. Um, but other than that, I think it's a pretty good set. It's got it's re decently priced. Let's see what other things it comes with. Um, commentary. I believe that means it has English and Japanese commentary. I'm not sure. I know I watched the English commentaries on here. I'm not sure if it has Japanese or not. Um, let's see. For episodes, we've got... Episode 1, The Papers Have Landed. Episode 2, Rise Up, O Dregs of Humanity. Episode 3, um, Let's Meet in Jimbo Cho, which is like a, um, it's like a neighborhood that sells a lot of books in Japan. And episode 4, The Seventh Grade Course. And here is, um, uh, disc 2, The Undercover Student. Um, I do have the Region 1 version of this disc. I bought this from Right Stuff. It was only like $5. I guess they printed a bunch more of these. As you can see, they're mostly the same. Um, the UK version has this. That says the undercover student. The American version has this, which looks like it's been written through a typewriter, which I think is very cool, considering that they are like spies. And well, this is like a super spy type show. Um, content wise, they're about the same, I think. Let me see what this one has. Uh, the American version has episodes 5 through 8, uh, as does this, episodes 5 through 8. Uh, let's see what else. Mm, the 2.0 Dolby Digital Japanese Audio and the 5.1 English and Japanese Audio. Two English subtitle streams, um, dialogue translation, and the signs only. Um, signs only is good for when you're watching the dub because then you get to see all the Japanese text and what it means. Uh, promo trailers, full color art gallery with commentary, and the U.S. production commentary. Um, this one also has the art gallery and things like that. Um, so I'm going to pause this and open it up so you can see what comes inside of them. So me being kind of a fool, I actually forgot to open up the first disc, um, the Paper Sisters volume. Um, this is very different from all of the other discs on the UK set in that when you open it up, it actually has different artwork on the disc. And we see we have uh, Nenene on this disc instead of the Paper Sisters on the front. And on the UMD, I don't think there's any artwork on the actual UMD itself just because um, of how small it is. But no, it just it's just like a black design like the actual um, discs in the American version. It won't focus. Here we go. <laughs> um... As you can see, there's some alternate cover art, which is actually something that you do not get in the UK version. Since it's a black case, um, they didn't see the need to put any alternate cover art. It's, it's just white on the back, and you can see the the other um, pictures on the front showing through. But there is no alternate cover art, which is a shame because I think the alternate cover art is quite nice. Um, I can pause it and take everything out so you can see it. Here is the alternate cover art for the Paper Sisters PSP UMD. As you can see, it's quite nice. Um, I'm not sure the way that Anita's body is facing. I think that's the back of her knee, which means that she must be twisted around pretty uncomfortably. But other than that, the art is nice. It says ROG, the TV, where you're the Paper Sisters, the technical company. And the uh, illustrator for this one is uh, Masashi Ishihama. And I'm really shaky today. I apologize. Um, but yeah, we've got Maggie, Anita, and Michelle. And this is for the PSP UMD. Just as a note, the PSP UMD was quite a lot cheaper than the uh, DVDs. Um, that's because this only has episodes 1 to 2 on it and no bonus features to speak of. Um, I think I went over this. Yes. So let us go into the second disc. Here's the cover again. The back. Which episodes does this have? It has episode 5, They Shout. Episode 6, The Right Stuff. Um, <laughs> right Stuff. Uh, episode 7, in a Grove. I'm really shaky today. And episode 8. Jeez. I don't do drugs, I swear. <laughs> Let's see. Episode 8 is... If it'll zoom... Seduced by the Night. I just read it off of the thing, but I'm trying to get it to zoom. There we go. 
It's got some paper featuring some of the artwork that you'll find in the gallery on the back. And if we open this up, the artwork is the same. Um, Michelle. And that's about it. There's also the 02 there that tells you which disc it is. MVM, rating, blah, blah, blah. So with this... Um, with this version, although it's quite a lot cheaper than the American version, you're actually missing out on a lot of stuff. Here is the US version by comparison. Same design on the back, mostly except for this one says DVD bonus. Um, let's open this up. So in here, the disc actually look, does look different. It says the... It actually came out. I'll get back in there. Here's the Undercover Student. It's to already to TV. I kind of like this black design. It doesn't have to be really in depth. What you are missing out on is, of course, the alternate cover art um, and the insert slip, which has this really beautiful illustration of Michelle on here with shading done with um, lines. Open this up. Actually, let's go to the back first. We've got the staff message. Um, to the buyers of the thing, another cute little illustration of uh, Maggie wearing a tiger outfit. A release schedule for the DVDs, which is actually quite nice, and the um, the original soundtracks, which is kind of nice thing to have um, back in the time, so you know when everything comes out. Uh, let's see, get out of there, DVD. <laughs> let's see, the roads to the new DVD, Charlie's Angels, Neko, which means cats. You can read this, um, I'm not shaking it too much anymore, so you can pause and look at it. A uh, staff message from Koji Masunari. Uh, another illustration of the three sisters by Tadako Huon. I hope I'm pronouncing these right. And, uh, part three of the, the little message that's been going on, uh, from Izumi Takenka. You can, like I said, but you can pause this and read it. I'm not going to read anything out loud because I hate my voice so much. Also, in the U.S. version, I'm not sure how if these are rare or not. Here's a little art card with the three sisters on it, and on the back has the most horrifying thing you'll probably ever see in your life if you are a fan of this show. Um, if I can get it out, that is. Here we go. Here is this absolutely horrifying shot with Maggie that I'm not even sure if I can put on YouTube, but I'll try it and see what happens. Um, I don't know why they put her in that pose. It's not really fitting her with the character. Um, apparently, there are a lot of those that came with these sets. I'm not sure of if these are rare or not. But I'm, I imagine the Volume 1 came with one, of, and Volume 3 four and maybe five because the next volume i have for the american one's uh, volume six and i didn't have one of these in there and i brought it new from right stuff um let me pause this and i'll get the alternate cover out for you here is the alternate cover art for volume two of the american version you can say it says rd a bunch of times and you have the three sisters together in a pose that you know they look so comfortable together you can really tell that they're sisters um i think it's a very sweet pose and we'll we'll move on to the third disc Here's disc three of the uh, England version called The Past. Um, another quite horrifying pose for Maggie. Um, it looks like her pants came unbuttoned or something like that. And she's got one of her little, um, well, it's not very little, but her paper um, demon things. <laughs> um, here's the back of it. I'm still shaking. Hold on. Okay, here's the back. Uh, this one's got episodes 9 through 12, uh, previews, commentary, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Let's see, episode 9, Heart of Darkness. Episode 10, Christmas Carol. I just said it like Christmas because I'm so addicted to Necro Sugar Girls. Episode 11, Goodbye Japan. Episode 12, Twilight of the Papers. Um, and we'll open it up. If it'll open. I don't want to break it. There we go. Same cover as the front, uh, we got Maggie. And let's move on to disc four. Here's disc four, it has Wendy on it. Um, this volume is called The Turning Point. Another horrifying, over-sexualized pose. Oh well. 
let's see, RD to TV, um, there's the summary for this volume. Episodes 13 to 16, previews, gallery, commentary, good stuff. Uh, episode 13, Twilight of the Papers 2. 14, Paper Leaf Wood. Uh, 15, In the Gray Light. Which I believe is the episode when Yomiko comes into the story. And episode 16, Fahrenheit 451. We'll open up the disc and see inside, even though it's just going to be Wendy again. I can't get this damn thing open. There we go. And here she is. Moving on to disc 5. Here is disc 5. It features Nancy. And this volume is called The Darkest Hour. Uh, let's see here. Here's the summary. Uh, the DVD features episodes 17 to 20. We have 17, Sweet Home. 18, Confession. 19, The Reality Game. And 20, uh, Tristesse. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this one is the disc that does not have the previews on it. So you miss four episodes with the previews. Which wouldn't have happened if they didn't put them in the special features for some reason. But oh well, I got the set for a good price. Um, way cheaper than like the Blu-ray set that was around for um, Aniplex of America who did the US version. And they wanted like $200 for that. I mean, I would have bought it, but there was such a limited quantity of it that it sold out. So what can you do? And I'll move on to the next disc. Okay, here is disc six. Um, which, which it's called End of a Dream. This one features Yomiko. I actually do have the American version of this disc as well. Um, here it is. You can see the Genyon logo. Um, the End of a Dream and typewriter lettering. I'll flip them both over here. This one has episodes 21 to 23. Imagine this one has the same. You have 21 to 23. Um, let's actually look at the back of this one. I think it says the same thing, right? A devastated Amida. No? Yeah, yeah, actually, they do have the same summary. So the previews return for this disc here. Um, I actually don't even know if the previews are built on the same way as the American discs because I never actually I haven't watched these yet. I just got them. Um, Five point one digital audio. I guess that's a draw to it. <laughs> but let's act use this one as the back for for a little, little while. This one, episode twenty one, R D Dream or Die. Oh, sorry, D or D Dream or Die. Uh, episode 22, Seas, and episode 23, Lie to Me. Um, you can see more pictures, and let's open up the disc. Then this one is just going to be Yomiko in there again. That one opened up easily. Yomiko, this one is not going to have Yomiko on the disc. It's going to have the black disc. This is the End of a Dream, disc 6. And here is the insert. As you can see, there's no card that came in this one, and I did get them new, so that means this one wasn't issued with them, unless they're rare or something like that. So here's a um, beautiful illustration of Yomiko. Um, let's see the back. Got another nice illustration of her. Um, more of the schedule things. Um, OST1 and OST2 are out at this point. Uh, let's see... The Charlie's Angels and Neko, Takekua, Ne and Jelly. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, like I said before, I'm not going to read this out loud because I hate my voice, but I will pause it and you can read it. Well, you can pause it and you can read it. Um, here's an illustration. This one looks like it takes place in the manga. You can see Nene as a teenager and Yomiko being quite silly as she often is. Um, she's a lot more serious in the story, so it's nice in the anime, the RD to TV, so it's nice to see her being goofy for once. Uh, blah, 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 you can read this if you want to. Staff message by Noriyuka Zinguzi. I hope I'm pronouncing these right. This is why I watch English dubs. Because this is easier for me. And also, I think the dub for this show is quite good some more artwork and I will pause and get the alternate cover out cover art out of this thing here's the alternate cover art I'm being shaky again but it has Michelle, Anita and Maggie, you can see a frog in the background and there's Yomiko 
Uh, looks like she gets another chance to be her goofy self. I can't stop shaking. I promise I'm not a drug doer. <laughs> drug doer. Oh gosh, okay. Already the TV. Another nice port. Ooh, we've got a ninja frog. I bet Anita likes that poster. Uh, moving on. Here we go. This is the final disc, uh, The New World. This is the British version. And here is the American version. The typewriter lettering, The New World. Um, let's see, flip them both over here. There is the uh, summary. Features episodes 24, 25, and 26, the last three episodes. Um, this one also says it doesn't have previews, but only one of these DVDs doesn't have the previews on it. So I'm not sure if it's this one or if it's disc 5. I'm pretty sure it's disc 5. Um, so we have episode 24, uh, You Know Me. Episode 25, Not a Big Problem. And episode 26, From There On. And I believe it is mostly the same for the back of the American version. 5.1 digital audio. I don't see why that's such a big draw. Maybe that wasn't around a lot. Um, art gallery, production commentary, trailers, all that stuff. Pretty much the same thing. Although I think I like the design of the American version a little bit more. Um, like I said before, with this set, you do get all the the show content at a reduced price than the Aniplex DVDs, but you do miss out on some goodies, so let's open up both of these. Let's see. This one has Anita and Hisa, which is, if I didn't say it before, Hisa is her friend from school, and Anita's closest friend throughout the whole series, besides her sisters, of course. And then with this one, got the black disc again, uh, The New World, disc 7. And here is some more beautiful artwork. Illustrations, I mean. No, again, no art card. You just have that um, fill me out card from Ganyam. Here is the front of this. Anita and Hisa. I kind of think Hisa is in love with Anita. Um, I think that was what... I think that was one of the plot points. I think he's actually turned down a boy's love for Anita. Um, so I think that's kind of cute. <laughs> See the back. Really scheduled. Basically all seven volumes are out. And both of the OSTs, which were already out. Here's the back. No little artwork on the back, it looks like. In the middle, we have a little bit more artwork. So you can read this. Uh, looks like Joker. Um, Drake. And the Chinese guys from Doku Sencha. Yeah, here's, the, here's this. Go a little slower. Just in case you want to read it all. Let's see. And here is one last lovely illustration with the three sisters together. And I'll get the alternate cover art for you. Here is the final alternate cover art with Maggie, Anita, and Michelle. It's quite nice again. And, and this, it really does cement in the fact that they're sisters and they're very close. Okay, here's a nice little bonus item. There is the first soundtrack that I got from Right Stuff. It was like $5. Um, here's the back. I think I'm kind of running out of time on my recording, so I'll make this quick. Um, a nice papery type design with Anita on the front. We'll open this up here. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, here's the disc. Nice. It's just very simple, white with red lettering. Jenny on and Pioneer, and this is probably the longest, like, precaution message ever. <laughs> uh, cautions, handling the CD, all that stuff, and it's obscured by that, but you can see how long it is. I, it's probably part of the design, it's kind of silly. Uh, the signature of the composer there, Taku Iwasaki. And here is the booklet. And my cat. Sammy, go away. <laughs> Let's see. Here's the track listing, already opening version. There's like six different versions of the already theme song on here. A bunch of stuff. I, I really like the I Heart Hong Kong version. That one's good. Um, let's see. What else is in here? This is 
I, I don't even know what all this stuff is, but you can read it. Um, I, I don't know why Japanese CDs always have this weird artsy type stuff in it. Um, like the Utena CDs. Uh, I, I don't know. Here, the, this is mostly credits and things. Okay, um, that's basically it. Um, some, some stuff on future content. I'm getting some U Revolutionary Girl Utena merchandise, like the old D DVDs and some international CDs. Um, I can unbox those for you guys, which would be cool. Um, I'm also getting the new Corpse Party release from Made in Japan. Um, that's on its way to me. Um, another thing I got from Right Stuff are the Sailor Moon Blu-rays, which would be kind of fun to do. Um, and talk about the video quality. Sammy, go away. Um, but yeah, be on the lookout for that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.